Well, here we are again at Rick Cressy's Tri-C Engineering in Valencia, California. And today I'm about to finish up spraying the sides of this modified 1935 Mullins red cap trailer, which is kind of rare in itself. And I'm using that as a pickup bed for my Model A Roadster pickup done up in a dirt track uh, race car style with uh, a bell-shaped Curtis nose, side pans, rear roll pan, and eventually a belly pan when we get to that phase. But uh, like I said in the earlier videos, we're putting on a, 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 a temporary patinaed paint job, uh, flat red, streaked with black, and then we're sanding it to give it a patinaed finish. Um, after that, <clears throat> I'm gonna come in and spend countless hours on pinstriping and artwork and sign painting. And all this again is, is just temporary for the build because uh, we have to have something pretty to look at or it just ain't no fun. So here we go. We're gonna start shooting and I'm not wearing a mask because I have a dinner date tonight and uh, I can't afford to screw my hair up. Nor can I afford not to breathe, but uh, the hair won out today. Here we go. Well, you could still, you could still see we do things the old-fashioned way, kind of the backyard shade tree hot rodder, mixed in with a professional custom builder. <coughs> so, uh, just like my black 32 from 1993, it's very much the same way, with Rick's know-how and professionalism, and my old-fashioned ways. We seem to make a good team. I just want to say a word about Rust-Oleum. Last week I painted the uh, tailgate and I got some paint on the driveway and uh, I have to tell you, I went over it with acetone and a wire brush <laughs> and then I went over it with less oil and simple green and today I went over it again with a wire brush and lacquer thinner and honest to God I could not get that crap off. The driveway so as you can see I'm not making the same mistake twice I should know better too but sometimes when you're dumb you're dumb and that's just the way it goes the good thing about this is we don't have to tape up the fenders because when I sand it all with 220 the end result is going to be the same anyhow we don't have to try to save anything I painted earlier because it's all going to just end up one way. Scuffed down with a matted finish and a patinaed look. So I got a lot of flexibility with doing things like this. Oh, time to reload.
I could get a job with the Baja Marimba band. I think my love of hot rods started in 1966 when I saw the Orson Welles movie Touch of Evil. There was a couple of roadsters in it and I fell in love with hot rods at the age of I think nine years old. My first exposure to hot rods was an Orson Welles movie and I never looked back since. We just paint right over the welds and right over the dents and everything else because in the end it's all going to get sanded down or media blasted. Media blasted is a kind of form of sandblasting. They use plastic pellets. It's easy on the sheet metal and it gets everything spotless clean. And then we're just going to take a grinder, a hammer and dolly, a slap file and torch and start shrinking metal and working the metal and, and then it eventually I'll get to do what I'm known for and that's to be a very good bombolero. I may not be a great metal man but I am a hell of a bombolero. And before you know it this beauty is going to be ready for my maiden voyage which is going to be San Francisco. I'm going to take me and the old lady and off we go. Pack up the babies and grab the old ladies. Because we are going to the Bay Area, the very first maiden voyage. Taking a Gary's Metter, Gary Metter's Good Guy event. You'll notice uh, there's some weld marks on the side of this bed. And that's, uh, again, one of Rick's brilliant ideas where the uh, center for our wheelbase didn't quite line up with, this, with the wheels. So he got the idea is to cut the left wheel well out and the right wheel well out and reverse the sides and I'll be goddamned if it didn't work just bitching. That man is a genius. And he's got a lot of patience to work with my ass, that's for sure. And if I really gave a crap, I would take the bed off to paint it, but I really don't. So, then you have that dynamic too. Right after this, we streak it with the uh, black. And there you go, guys. That's it for uh, the Oils and Roadster and the Rust-Oleum Hour. Bye. We'll come back with the black.